special report of an ongoing police chase happening right now through the streets of uh, what appears to still be Northwest Miami Dade. Chopper 4 just now catching up to this. They've been trying to for quite a while. You can see that they are following this ATV rider. We actually just saw an MDPD cruiser try to cut this driver off. They just swerved right around them. They're now traveling along Northwest 6th Avenue here. Uh, this isn't too far away from the Overtown areas uh, south of Calmer, just west of I-95 and right on the north side of the Miami River. But this ATV driver uh, appears to be trying to get away from police and certainly doing so very quickly. You could see uh, the driver there just blowing through some of the intersections and getting a little bit closer there to I-95. You could see the Metro tracks there just behind the driver. It appears now they've taken that left turn, so now they'd be heading eastbound at this point and getting closer to areas near I-95. I'm following this along because we have the Miami Dade Police uh, chopper up above this right now, along with Chopper 4. So we have crews on the ground there also following the driver. This is now on 11th Street. They just went under uh, the uh, Metro Rail tracks there. This is appearing to head now southbound and getting a little bit closer um, again to areas near I-95 and the Miami River now passing Northwest 14th Street and continuing that journey again uh, appears to be just kind of blowing through the area there. Um, not too many stoplights, but certainly a lot of stop signs in the area. It appeared before police had some trouble trying to catch up with this driver on the ground because of how quick they were moving. We could see now this Miami Dade police cruiser is pretty much tailing that ATV driver there and does not appear to be slowing down. So as this driver's trying to make these quick turns, of course, we are trying to keep up with this as well. And this is pretty dangerous here. We're coming up on lunchtime. There's a lot of folks out there on the roads right now, maybe taking that lunch break from work. And this ATV driver is now going to be running into a lot of traffic out there now passing Northwest 20th Avenue, and this is going to get busy here. This is close to the downtown area. Uh, the driver definitely not pressing on the brakes at all. Now on 7th Avenue, they're weaving in and out of traffic in some of the opposing lading lane turn lanes there um, and passing 20th Avenue there. I'm trying to follow this along on our chopper. It appears he had passed a Booker T. Washington High School. You may have seen the track from the view from Chopper 4 here a little bit ago, but you can still see, I, I mean, this driver, he is just going and going, now passing 29th Street there and continuing and now it appears to be moving in that northbound direction. So kind of away from areas near I-95 and the Metro Rail tracks that you saw there and uh, heading kind of in that neighborhood that really just kind of parallels I-95 through this area. So you're going to see some of those street signs as this uh, ATV driver continues to go through this area there. Um, Chopper's trying to, you know, keep a little bit of a distance here. Of course, Miami Dade PD, they're following this as well. This is at 36 now. And it appears the driver now has turned on to 36 at, the, at this point. I'm trying to watch the rate, the uh, flight radar for you as well to give you an idea of kind of where they're turning, um, you know, street by street as this continues to play out. Now, exactly how this chase started, we don't know that at this point. We're working to get those answers. But what we've been trying to do for the past 20, 25 minutes is actually catch up with this ATV driver. And it appears we have now traveling westbound on 36. Now, we've only seen Miami Dade police so far involved in this chase at this point, so that may point to this chase likely starting somewhere in Northwest Day. We were hearing a police activity uh, as far north as the Golden Glades interchange. And just a, a quick housekeeping note on our end here as well. This chopper feed is on a little bit of a delay. This driver has definitely been making some dangerous decisions out on the roads from what we've seen. And we're just putting a delay on this in case something happens and there is a wreck. But we are going to stay over this, continue to bring you the very latest. Again, as we know, a lot of folks are hitting the road at this time, coming up now on 1145. And this is going to be a busy area. You saw very close to I-95 near 836 and now northbound continuing to uh, go through this area here and moving back even closer to areas like Model City and into uh now is heading southbound on Northwest 10th Avenue. Um, you can see a better vantage point and a view of the driver there clearly on that ATV and continues to pick up speed moving through these areas. They just went under. I believe that was the airport expressway. And now that driver would be heading eastbound. This looks like one of those uh, on ramps that would get you onto 112 in the eastbound direction. 
So it appears this ATV driver uh, may be heading right onto some of our expressways right now. We're going to get a better uh, idea of where he's heading here in a moment. Once you kind of get through the interchange, you've got a lot of overlapping lanes here where I-95 meets that airport expressway. So it appears once Chopper kind of moves down a little bit there, northbound I-95. Yep, he just went over those very slow southbound lanes, and now he's kind of on that express, slide, express side there of uh, northbound I-95, and he is just flying there. I mean, really quickly moving through this area. Again, not in a vehicle, not in a car, an SUV, on an ATV. Right now, they're close to the express lanes on 95. So here is where that on ramp from 112 now meets northbound I 95 and still picking up uh, speed there. You can see him staying off in those far left lanes, which are the quickest moving lanes normally there on I 95 northbound and continuing to head north. So Miami Dade police, because this driver is certainly picking up speed, they have their own shopper in the air right now following this as well, because when he's swerving in and out of lanes, um, it can make it difficult for those officers there in their patrol vehicles to keep up with this, but they cannot stop the chopper here in the air from following along. And as we are following along here right now, so northbound, he's going to be heading up to the Golden Glades interchange, or at least that area. He just passed 54th and now up to 62nd. So it appears that the driver's staying now on those express lanes. You can see those semi-permanent cones that are up that separate the express lanes from the northbound main line, staying on those express lanes and just continuing to sail in that northbound direction. Now, if you don't hop off, this is pretty much going to take you right onto the express lanes into the Golden Glades interchange and then northbound there. Uh, you're pretty much set heading up into Broward County and not seeing a lot of traffic right now on those express lanes, seeing a little bit of traffic there on the main line. Uh, but this ATV driver seems to be pretty well picking up speed without any trouble because we haven't seen too many cars utilizing those express lanes right now. Now it will get a little bit slow on the main line as you're seeing because it appears he's coming up on seven. 79th Street, a very busy on and off ramp there for folks traveling into Northwest Miami Dade. We're seeing the slow traffic again on the main line, but he's avoiding a lot of this right now because he's on that express side. That could certainly change in that northbound direction. As I mentioned here at lunchtime, sometimes we see a little bit of a burst of a rush of traffic, but it seems to pretty much be staying just to the right of this ATV driver. So we're seeing uh, Miami Dade police still tailing this driver right now. You've got a little bit of traffic just ahead of him there, but uh, nothing that really seems to deter the speed and the driver that keeps on heading in that northbound direction. Coming up next is going to be Northwest 95th Street, and then you're be going to be getting closer to 135th and Opalaka Boulevard. That's pretty much your last off ramps to get into areas of Northwest Dade before you are going right into the Golden Glades interchange. Now it appears that this chase has kind of circled back to where it may have began, or at least where we started hearing about it, which was in the North Miami, Northwest Miami Dade area, not too far away from the Golden Glade. So we're not sure if the driver came from this area, what led police to pursuing this ATV driver, what happened there, but we just know that they have been following this driver now for uh, the better part of the past 30, 35 minutes and continuing to just keep going in that northbound direction. So we saw the driver on some of those side streets right around uh, 836, then weaving through areas uh, near Model City in Northwest Dade. Bear with us here. Uh, the chopper shot may go in and out and then looped back onto 112 and then start heading northbound on I-95. So I mentioned some of that slow traffic making your way into Northwest Dade, north of 79th Street. You're seeing it there on the main line, but um, I'm surprised there's not a lot more drivers that are use, utilizing the express lanes at this time because I'm seeing a little bit of a slowdown north of 79th up to about 125th, not really impacting those express lanes. So the driver may knew what they were doing, hopping on that express lane entrance there uh, from 112 in the airport expressway onto northbound I-95. But of course, you've got to wonder also how much gas this vehicle has to continue to keep going in that northbound direction. And especially the amount of time that they may have been chasing this vehicle now for the past 30 to uh, 40 minutes here, still going in that northbound direction. 
So if you're just joining us here on CBS News Miami, we're breaking in uh, to our normally scheduled programming because we have this ATV chase happening right now on northbound I-95 in Northwest Miami Day, passing Northwest 125th a couple of moments ago and continuing to head in that northbound direction and pretty much getting a lot closer to the Golden Glades interchange. Now, once they're the driver, if they don't hop over the cones, they'll they'll have a couple of options really stay on northbound 95, the express lanes, or they can get onto the northbound turnpike. That'll get you up past a Hard Rock Stadium, off ramps to the extension, and then you're pretty much uh, moving up into areas of Broward County closer to Fort Lauderdale and I-595. Uh, the driver doesn't seem to be slowing down at all, still pretty much maintaining a fast speed, and it appeared the driver was not letting off the gas at all, even on some of the surface streets and side streets through areas of Northwest Dade and Model City and right around 836. So uh, still going here with no real sign of slowing down or stopping where this driver may be trying to lead police or where they are trying to going uh, to be going rather. So uh, we're coming up on 151st now. Again, you've got slow traffic on the main line and there you see the off ramps to stay on the express lanes that I mentioned or to hop on the turnpike and head in that northbound direction and heading into Broward County, passing that county line. So it'll be interesting to see what the driver does here. There's also a quick off ramp on the left side that gets you right over to the parking garage there at the Golden Glaze Interchange that's only accessible by the express lanes. That could be another option and would take the ATV driver there right back into Northwest Dade. So uh, looks like he's staying on the 95 express lanes northbound through the interchange. And if the driver stays on this, you're kind of on that one single flyover ramp that goes pretty tall through the interchange and gets you right through a lot of the traffic over the turnpike and the Palmetto and right into areas uh, heading closer to the county line in northbound I-95 into Hollywood. So Miami Dade Police still staying on top of this one. There is that off ramp I mentioned to get you over to the parking garage at the Golden Glade. So not going there. He's just going to go right through the interchange at this point with Miami-Dade police still following uh, behind him. We're seeing just about two cruisers at this point behind the driver. Uh, Miami-Dade police are also, as I mentioned, covering this from the sky. Their chopper's been over this. We are over it as well. And I've got to be honest, it's even been hard for us to keep up with the driver when they were going through some of the local streets in Northwest Dade and through the city of Miami uh, because of how quick the driver was meandering around. We saw at one point one of the MDPD officers tried to cut the ATV off. They were unable to because the ATV was able to quickly move around and then get back on the road, then on the wrong side of the road. Uh, so this hasn't been an easy chase, but at this point, Police are keeping a little bit of a distance here, waiting to see what happens. And as I mentioned, we're on a bit of a delay as well in case there is some sort of accident here. And we're not talking about a normal car, a sedan, an SUV out on 95. This is an off road vehicle right now that's taking to the streets and is now taking to the highways heading northbound on I-95. So now the driver is on the northeast portion of the interchange. So they've already flown over 826, the turnpike areas. Now the flyover ramp has ended. They're back on the ground, and this is pretty much going to stay a northbound express lane as you're heading up towards Miami Gardens Drive, Ives Dairy, up in Hollywood, Hallandale Beach area there. So um, a little bit of good news, if you will, is that the express lanes have not been packed. It was getting a little dicey. We were on the edge of our seat watching as the driver was on some of those uh, local streets on 8th Avenue and areas there just uh, south of downtown near the Miami River, north of downtown rather, um, and kind of cutting in and out of traffic here. But it seems the express lanes have been very open for the most part, even though here coming up on lunchtime, um, we've seen really the slow traffic moving on the main line. Things could be different though, because we're going to be heading into Broward County here in just a couple of moments. Um, he'll be coming up on Miami Gardens Drive if he hasn't passed it already. And then you'll be moving up into Ives Dairy, which obviously gets very, very busy around the curve as a lot of folks are heading into Aventura um, and folks are also heading westbound. Looks like he just passed Miami Gardens Drive there. So this ATV driver just just keeps going. There's your local exit to Ives Dairy. 
Um, that's probably one of, I believe that's your last exit there in Miami-Dade County before you're moving into Broward County. So uh, continuing in that northbound direction, we'll see what happens if the driver does decide to take any of those local exits, either to Ives Dairy, which is coming up, or areas, again, pretty much in Broward County at this point. Um, so the driver will be cruising on into Hollywood if they keep on that northbound direction, and it appears that they are. They just passed, there was that off ramp to Ives Dairy. So still heading northbound. So far, what we are being told and what we are seeing is that Miami-Dade police are continuing with this chase and following right behind the driver. Bear with us here, we might lose the uh, chopper shot and going in and out in certain areas of I-95, but we'll do our best to uh, stay over it here. So if you're just joining us, I know we're coming up on noon. You guys may be tuning in for CBS News Miami at noon, but we've got this special report here and we are following uh, police as they are chasing an ATV driver right now on I-95 heading northbound from Miami-Dade and heading into a Broward County. So we're having a little bit of issue with our chopper right now. We're going to show you some video though from earlier of where this ATV was uh, really meandering through and traveling through pretty dangerously in Miami. Um, we'll get back to that in a little bit. We're gonna get back onto I-95. We're still on delay, but we have the shot back passing Ives Dairy right now. Northbound traffic is moving. And again, bear with us here. Our chopper shot is coming in and out a little bit. Again, we're on a delay and sometimes the signal can be a little spotty on areas of I-95. Northbound things are very clear traffic wise. Southbound, a different story. You can see as there's a lot of slow traffic in that area. Northbound though, um, things are really looking clear. I'm looking at our traffic maps as well. Not seeing any major delays at this point heading northbound, especially on that express side, seeing very light traffic, in fact, on the express lanes. But southbound, that's really where you're going to be seeing a lot of the slower traffic. Um, so where where's this driver going? That's that's kind of what police are trying to figure out and tailing at this point. So now you have Miami Day po Miami Day police now entering and surely into Broward County at this point, approaching Hallandale Beach Boulevard. If we can't take that video again, we're, I know we're having a little bit of issue there with our live feed, uh, but I want to show you just what this driver was doing and this ATV was doing. This was in the city of Miami, weaving in and out, going in between vehicles on the wrong side of the road at some points here, um, and this. This is a pretty busy area just north of Miami River, north of I-95 and or west of 95, north of 836. Here is uh, we're back to live pictures here. Now we've got the chopper back and we're passing Hallandale Beach Boulevard in the again, the northbound direction here. You're going to see some of the on and off ramps to the express lanes through that area right now. So now we have Miami-Dade police tailing this ATV who just continues uh, to go, not stopping and not sh showing any signs of slowing down either. And you may also have traffic that may not even know what's going on. There are a lot of folks going on their lunch break here at 1159 and getting on those express lanes, maybe grabbing some lunch here, but there are going to be a lot of police on those express lanes in the northbound direction. Now, I mentioned earlier, even traveling through Northwest Day, the express lanes, frankly, were wide open. We're not sure if uh, police may be kind of monitoring the express lane, seeing if folks are hopping on or doing any enforcement. I haven't seen that. Um, so it may just be a lot of folks are staying on the main line. No need for the express lanes at this time. And that's why they may seem so open right now. So the express lanes here through Broward sometimes go down to just one lane through Northwest Day. It's usually two just because of the amount of traffic they have. They allocate those two lanes, uh, but now you're down to just one. But eventually those express lanes are going to merge back with the main line and that driver will have to deal with all of this and they'll have to deal with dealing with some of the lane closures, construction and a lot of the drivers out there right now. Our producer is telling me that uh, Miami Dade PD is going to be handing this over to the Broward Sheriff's Office and letting them know about this right now because again, this is entering Broward County on northbound I-95. They already passed Hallandale Beach, Boule uh, Hallandale Beach Boulevard. They'll be coming up on Hollywood Boulevard. So the city of Hollywood, then you can see on the overhead sign there, Sheridan Sterling You'll be moving up to Griffin and I-595, um, where traffic usually starts to cluster. We've got a lot of congestion, construction in the northbound area here. So as they keep going in that direction, heading up, the express lanes are going to dissipate. You're going to see those semi-permanent cones that are up. They'll be gone. And then this driver is going to be with everybody else on the main line. This is where the express lanes wrap up. 
So it'll be interesting to see how this driver is going to navigate all of that. And at this point, it looks like this is the portion there near Hollywood Boulevard where the cones are kind of gone. You've still got separate lanes, if you will, but you're going to be moving back on with mainline traffic. And this as on the southbound side, the express lanes are actually closed. You could see that there are wrecked with several vehicles on the southbound side. So northbound appears to be open moving through this area. They're about to come up on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm seeing the off ramps there for the tri-rail station and Hollywood Boulevard itself. And just traffic flowing. And again, this is an off road vehicle vehicle. This is an ATV that's just traveling along with uh, lunchtime traffic here on a Monday morning on I-95, but is being tailed by police at this point. I just gave you that update. Uh, the Broward Sheriff's Office being made aware of this. They'll be involved here shortly. Um, at least their chopper likely will be and tailing this and trying to catch up with this driver. My day police cruisers not seeing any of them in sight. Not sure if they've already pulled off, but we're passing Sheridan Street now. That's where the huge water tower is on the uh, west side. You'll see it right there and you know, kind of just timing here. I, you know, I'm surprised we have not run into any slow traffic here on the northbound side at all. We had a little cluster near 79th Street, but southbound has just been a mess all the way here. Now from Sheridan Street, we had that crash we passed on the southbound side, but even in Miami Dade, it, it really wasn't looking pretty for you heading south. Northbound, a very different story. Pa um, as we continue to pass Sheridan Street here, we'll be coming up on Sterling. And oh, there we've got a Florida Highway Patrol trooper with his lights on there. And uh, changing lanes here now. So now that we have no more express lanes, this ATV driver is now moving off to the right side and cutting across. I believe this is the off ramp for Sterling. Florida Highway Patrol there trying to quickly cut over. Yeah, so this is, yep, this was the exit before Griffin, so Sterling. We're coming up on the exit now to Sterling itself. You'll see the lights there for traffic to turn either east or west. Cutting across, he's going to go under I-95, heading westbound now on Sterling. And just flying right by. I mean, just look at the speed of this driver that continues to head uh, westbound now in Broward County on Sterling. They'll be coming up on the uh, tri-rail train tracks here in a little bit, but dangerous, dangerous speed here uh, and very slow traffic on the surface streets. This is not going to be what it was like on 95. There we go, passing the tri-rail tracks there now and continuing to head westbound. So I'm actually going to pull up on our map, see kind of what is around the Sterling area there, just uh, west of the tri-rail station, west of I-95. So again, this chase now has officially spanned two counties at this point. It began and what it sounds like in the North Miami, Northwest Miami Dade area went all the way down to almost 836 loop back up on the surface streets to 112. Then on I-95 all the way through Northwest Miami Dade and uh, heading westbound now in Broward County on Sterling there. So Florida Highway Patrol now appears to be involved in this chase. That that was that trooper I believe you saw who was pulled off to the left shoulder where the express lanes ended after Sheridan and just tailed this ATV uh, now heading westbound again on Sterling. So we know the Broward Sheriff's Office is being um, made aware of this right now. Uh, Miami Dade Police, they were involved. It looks like he's going to pull a U-turn. Oh. At one point, I thought he was going to be heading west on those eastbound lanes, but nope, he's looped back around here, heading towards uh, I-95, back to the tracks where we were. And if you give me a moment here, I'm pulling up on our map where this is all happening. I want to uh, call out some streets and businesses. If you know this area, you have someone who lives or works in this area. This is very dangerous here because we have an off-road vehicle doing uh, very high speeds, um, spinning out, turning around. Um, it's really unpredictable at this point. So it's very scary, uh, especially here. Oh, looks like he actually blew through a red light there and continuing to climb in speed. And this is what makes it difficult for those ground crews there. Even that trooper, you know, they can get up in speed as well, but the ATV can move a little bit quicker, can make those quick turns, can cut across traffic like what we saw. Um, so oftentimes in situations like this, police rely on their eyes in the sky. You know, Chopper 4 is there, but of course Miami-Dade Police has also been tailing this right now. Um, okay, so he's going to go back over the train tracks there. Those are the tri-rail tracks, and he's coming 
coming up on I-95 right now. So for some perspective here, this is Sterling and I-95 or almost I-95. So this is south of the very busy parts of 95 near I-595. And uh, traffic here, he's now getting on the lanes. This is eastbound Sterling. Those are those lanes to get you onto northbound 95. Now in the median, traveling right through the grass there. And he's now through the interchange, traveling under I-95. That's slow southbound traffic you see there. And it looks like he's somewhere under the I-95 overpass. We'll wait for the ATV to reappear. There he goes. Okay, so we got through that interchange. Now looks like he's hopping back on northbound I-95 and sailing northbound. You see him there climbing in speed. All right, so he's back on I-95 now. I don't see the uh, trooper there. Um, not sure if he's caught back a little bit trying to get through all of that traffic like the ATV did. Looks like he had a little bit of trouble getting through a lot of the stop cars right under I-95. So I mentioned earlier, if he's heading northbound, he's going to be running into a lot of traffic near I-595. You've got airport traffic. You've got a lot of folks heading out into Western Broward County. So that off ramp there just past Griffin, you see Griffin there. This is where it starts to get a little bit dicey. We'll see how traffic is now. Um, it is lunchtime. We can see construction crews are out there in the median. And again, slow traffic on that southbound side. I'm shocked to not see a lot slower traffic on the northbound side heading into the interchange, but we'll see how that changes here in a couple of minutes. So uh, that trooper now appears to be back behind the uh, ATV continuing to head northbound. So if you're uh, just joining us here at 1207, we are following this breaking news right now. Northbound I-95, a police chase. Police are tailing an ATV driver. That's right, an off-road vehicle on the northbound lanes of I-95 right now in Broward County coming up on the off-ramps to I-595. The nature of this, exactly why police started chasing this ATV or this driver, this person, we're working to get those answers right now, but we know this has now been going on for... At this one, I'd say a better part of an hour. We caught up with it about maybe 30 minutes ago, but we had been hearing about it even earlier than that. So now we know that Miami Day PD was involved. It appears now that they are handing this over to law enforcement in Broward County. Florida Highway Patrol tailing the driver now going through the thickest part of the construction at the I-595 interchange. So the ATV driver did not hop off the ramps there that get you over to Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport or heading westbound on I-595. They're continuing to head north. Coming up next will be Marina Mile Boulevard, uh, Broward Boulevard. That's actually where the Broward Sheriff's Office headquarters is. Um, so not too far away from law enforcement there in Broward County. So we'll see what happens. And honestly, it's really been unpredictable uh, be, because the driver has been able to make these quick moves because of the nature of that off-road vehicle, uh, which is kind of what they're intended to do, but they're not intended to be traveling on I-95 northbound, but that's what's happening. And law enforcement is trying to keep up with that driver right now. And it appears one trooper is doing so, so far. Um, the driver hasn't been doing anything too erratic on I-95. We've just seen high speed at points on the express lanes. Luckily, there wasn't a lot of traffic on those northbound express lanes, but uh, continues to head in that northbound direction now off to some of the far right lanes. So we're passing Davy coming up on Broward Boulevard here. Um, this is another busy interchange, kind of second to I-595. There's Fort Lauderdale PD just behind them. Not sure if they were involved or just happened to be in the area. Um, but that driver, again, look at him picking up speed there, swerving over to the left side, some of the faster lanes now merging back over to the right but still heading northbound right now. There's Davy Boulevard. Okay, looks like he's hopping off the off ramp to Davy and still going there. And you can see just how fast the ATV is going compared to the other traffic that's slowing down. We're talking speed 60 to 70 miles per hour on these off ramps, but you'll notice the ATV is able to quickly accelerate, but then break um, and not stopping here. That traffic there to rest. Ooh, that was close right there. Did you see that northbound? Uh, that off ramp there from northbound 95 now westbound on Davy Boulevard circling back now on southbound I-95. All right, again, bear with us here. The chopper shot may go in and out here a little bit, but the last we saw there hopping back on southbound I-95. 
it doesn't seem at this point the driver has a plan of where they're going or what they're trying to do. okay now he's going the wrong way northbound up southbound i-95 off on the breakdown lane on the shoulder this atv driver heading the wrong way this is very 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 dangerous we have an eight we have an off-road vehicle northbound on i-95 on the southbound lanes here yeah th this is uh this is not good that's also a portion of that off-ramp i believe from broward boulevard so that atv driver may be somewhere under that overpass there from davy boulevard to 995. All right, so as we pull out here, you're seeing some of the slower traffic from southbound I-95. So I'm not sure if Chopper's keeping a distance or why they're on this side, but the last we saw, that driver was somewhere right there at the underpass on the southbound side of 95 heading northbound. And producer, if you see anything before I do, please let me know. We're still trying to look out. Got it, got it, okay, got it. Okay, so uh, producer's telling me that we're trying to get back over to that side, but we haven't seen the ATV reappear on either side um, from the on and off ramps on the southbound side. But again, that was last seen northbound heading the wrong way on that far right breakdown lane, the right shoulder, which also kind of turns into that off ramp um from i believe that's broward boulevard in the interchange there okay oh wow 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 he's going the wrong way on the far left side now close to fast traffic there um he he's on a travel lane he's heading northbound on the southbound lanes wow um I, I can't express how dangerous this is. Uh, you know, if you know anybody in Broward County that hops on, you know, 95 southbound, um, they really need to stay away at this point. This is very scary. You have highway speed southbound traffic being met with this ATV driver who really just has been reckless and is now just taking all risks and heading northbound on the southbound lanes of I-95. Those are the express lanes in the area. So you're seeing some of that traffic. Thankfully, traffic is trying to get slow in this area. It is getting a little congested. So at least some of the traffic that is heading the right way is not flying through this area, express, especially on the express lanes. But this is what this ATV has been doing, really just trying to evade police any way possible. Um, and this may not be a risk that police are willing to take at this point on the ground to chase this driver in the wrong directions there. But we know Chopper 4 here is staying over this. We are following this. We're not going to let up. We know police are staying over this as well. Um, yeah, very congested in this area. Um, if you're like me, you're on the edge of your seat here because this is very scary. Again, you're close to the fastest traveling lanes there on 95, and, and you're really heading the wrong way on the breakdown lanes there. Okay, luckily we're seeing some of the traffic is moving over. And we're coming up on Sunrise Boulevard. There was a trooper that just flew by, but again, they're on the right side of the travel lanes there. They're on the northbound side heading northbound. This driver is northbound on the southbound lanes. And look how small the shoulder is there. I mean, barely, if that ATV were any larger, he'd be clipping these vehicles. I mean, he's barely able to get by this, but thankfully it looks like some of the drivers are paying attention enough to move over in time. But look how fast the southbound traffic is moving. Yeah, it just yeah, this is just very, very dangerous. And, um, you know, we understand the seriousness of this. Our chopper is I mentioned this before, but we are on a delay right now um, in advance of anything happening because of kind of how volatile this is and how scary and serious this is right now. Uh, but we're keeping you up to date on the very latest and we are continuing to watch this again. You're just seeing it with a little bit of a delay. Take a look at the southbound traffic right now, heading the correct way. I mentioned before, it is lunchtime. We're going to see some slower traffic. 
and usually in Broward County, we do start to see that on the southbound side. Usually Oakland Park Boulevard all the way down to Marina Mile gets backed up um, and we're seeing that now the express lanes do not appear to be impacted and that's a little bit of a concern because he's traveling on that side of the shoulder, not where the slow traffic is, but on the express lanes. Um, so we'll see now if any. OK, he's cutting across the express lanes. OK, now he's cutting across slow traffic there back on the right side on the shoulder now heading southbound on the southbound side. So you're seeing the slow traffic there through the area still moving. Traffic is uh, crawling at some points. It looks like it is stop and go north of uh, Broward Boulevard, which is usual for Broward County, especially around this time um, of now. What is the afternoon? And again, bear with us if you see the shot cutting in and out. OK, feels a little better, if you will, to see the driver now heading in the correct direction of travel and away from those fast moving express lanes, but still very dangerous because the driver has been incredibly erratic, not only on I-95 in Miami-Dade through Broward County or surface streets. We're coming up now on Sunrise Boulevard. He's hopping off the exit there at Sunrise. Weaving back from the right turn lanes ahead west. Now that driver, oh, no. Nope looks like he's going to head west or we'll see. So slow traffic there breaking for the red light there at the interchange. Yep, westbound on sunrise now. All right, so just went over the uh, train tracks there. And uh, continuing westbound, we saw those signs on the road there. Looks like there is a school nearby. I'm going to pull this up on the maps. Now that we're in our surface streets, um, some of the locations are more identifiable, for, ident identifiable rather from I-95. But when we get on those surface streets, uh, we want to let you know when this is coming to your neighborhood here. So uh, we're going to zoom in on our map, kind of see where this is all uh, unfolding now. But again, heading westbound, Sunrise Boulevard. And look at the speeds there. Uh, my producer was telling me uh, 60 to 70 miles per hour at times, 70, 75 miles per hour. So um, again, incredibly dangerous, incredibly erratic. This driver is not only a danger to themselves being on an off-road vehicle with uh, regular motorized vehicles, but then everybody else that's out there right now who may have a second or two to realize that this vehicle is coming up behind them with how erratic the driver has been and continues to turn. OK, it looks like he's turned into a parking lot here of a KFC. And is now back behind a side street. All right, so this is Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue and 31st Avenue. This is near the flea market. And now appears heading northbound. Yeah, this is I, this is right across the way from the swap shop there. So heading northbound up 31st at this point. So he'll be coming up on 19th Street and then after that is Oakland Park Boulevard. So getting pretty well into Broward County at this point. Um, I'm also going to check our chopper. We're staying over this as well to get an idea of the kind of distance they're keeping from this as well. Um, but you're seeing again as the ATV driver here continues to uh, head northbound. And I'm not sure what the gas situation he, situation is here for this ATV, um, but they've gone quite a distance. By the time we caught up with them traveling through the streets of Northwest Miami Dade, um, eventually onto the Airport Expressway, northbound 95, the express lanes all the way up into Broward County, and then going on Sterling, then heading back onto 95 and northbound. So now we're passing 19th. The next big street there is going to be Oakland Park Boulevard. And this is another busy area here, uh, just a little bit east there of Lauderdale Lakes and west of I-95. Um, if you know that KFC, by the way, on the corner, it's right there before you pass the swap shop if you're heading over to the Turnpike. So these are busy areas here of parts of Broward, Fort Lauderdale, and now getting a little closer to Lauderdale Lakes. Passing 26th Avenue there.
So it looks like the ATVs drop speeds here just a little bit. Not sure if the driver's planning to turn off at some point or again, I just mentioned the gas gas situation. I don't know if they'll be running out of gas at any point. Um, it looks like he's pulling off now on the sidewalk and stopping. Okay, police are swarming in. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, police tackling the driver now off that ATV and appears to be now in police custody. Oh, uh, such a relief not seeing any crashes, anything. I mean, we're talking about a driver uh, going the wrong way on I-95, weaving in and out of traffic on surface streets across two counties here in South Florida at this lunchtime. But now at 1221, the driver in custody. It appears, uh, I believe this would be BSO at this point. Some of their unmarked vehicles. Um, you can see the driver there now on the ground. They took him down off that ATV and is now in custody. So this is uh, all ending now on Northwest 31st Avenue, close to Oakland. I believe it's before Oakland Park uh, Boulevard, right after Northwest 26th Street there. Um, the ATV just seemed to suddenly slow down. Not sure if that was by choice of the drivers I mentioned or if they may have ran out of fuel. I mean, they were going for quite a while there and certainly climbing in speeds, burning fuel. So you see the driver still there on the ground. Um, the helmet just to the uh, couple of feet away from the ATV itself and officers there talking to that driver who is now in custody after this two county ATV chase. And I, I mean, incredible. I'm, I'm sure we'll, you know, run the video back and you'll see um, as this driver was going the wrong way on I-95 uh, on both sides there. It, this could have been a whole lot worse. This was incredibly dangerous, uh, very scary for the drivers who were out there at this time. And this guy behind the wheel of this ATV, if you will, also just really putting a danger out there, out on the roads. You could see him there now. Uh, he's now sitting up, feet crossed, and officers are talking to him now and placing him in custody at this point. So we still have a lot of questions, things to figure out exactly what led up to all of this. Um, we know that somewhere started in Northwest Miami-Dade, why it started. We are working to get those answers right now. Um, and that's also part of this. Why were they chasing this individual? Uh, were they wanted for something? I just how did this all start? But by the time we caught up with it, um, this was a full on chase at this point. And we were listening in as police were actually just trying to catch up with that driver. And this was before they led them on a chase that went all the way from Northwest Dade down to the city, city of Miami and northbound well up into Broward County. But it is now all over here on Northwest 31st, 31st Avenue, excuse me, MLK Jr. Avenue, just south of Oakland Park Boulevard. So uh, that officer there still talking to the driver um, and it appears those northbound lanes near 31st are shut down. Um, after hopping up I-95 there at Sterling and then uh, all over. I mean, the driver, it didn't seem they, they kind of knew what they were doing. Uh, hopping off I-95, jumping back on, going the wrong way. Pretty dangerous, pretty scary, but now it is over at this point. It appears the uh, driver there, again, in custody. It appears this was uh, kind of all wrapped up by the Broward Sheriff's Office. You're seeing the officers there right now, still talking to the driver, still sitting there at this point. Um, you're looking at video from earlier. We're showing you the live picture there of the arrest, but you're seeing some of the video. This was in the city of Miami as Miami-Dade police were continuing to follow that driver. Um, slow speeds through some of the surface streets, but also a lot of high speeds and heading the wrong way through turn lanes, stop signs, red lights. Um, the driver definitely taking some risks there, but if you're just joining us here, police chase now over in Broward County after this ATV driver led police on a chase through Miami-Dade and Broward County.